Thank you very much for waiting for me. Um, unfortunately, it took a little bit longer, so I know that it's a lunch time, so I don't, I don't want to keep you longer than I can. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, make a statement in my national capacity regarding the uh, situation in Afghanistan. Uh, the government of Kazakhstan uh, condemns in the strongest terms the heinous and cowardly terrorist attack that took place in Kabul, Afghanistan on the 20th of January uh, on the Intercontinental Hotel, which resulted in at least 22 people killed and nine injured, for which the Taliban has claimed responsibility. We express our deepest sympathy and condolences to the families of the victims and to the government of Afghanistan and to other governments whose nationals have been affected. We wish a speedy and full recovery to those who were injured. Kazakhstan condemns terrorism in all its forms and manifestations and reiterates that any act of terrorism is criminal and unjustifiable regardless of motivation. We will continue to stand by the Afghan authorities and people in the fight against terrorism and to support their efforts to build a peaceful and prosperous future for all Afghan citizens. And since we have also uh, our national who uh, died, we, uh, you know, very much uh, concerned about this development. Uh, now I just pass, uh, move to the uh, meeting which took place in the morning regarding the, uh, the work of uh, UN Regional Center for Preventive Diplomacy in Central Asia. And uh, this is the press elements which I am authorized to uh, uh, state right now. Members of the Security Council welcomed uh, the first briefing by Ms. Natalia German in her new capacity as Special Representative of the United Nations Secretary General on the activities of the United Nations Regional Center for Preventive uh, Diplomacy for Central Asia in the last six months. They commended her for proactive engagement since taking office. The members of the Security Council expressed their support for the work of the Regional Center in Ashgabat and took note of the program of action of UNRCCA for 2018-2020. The Security Council recalled the resolution of the General Assembly uh, on November 2017, marking the 10th anniversary of the establishment of UNRCCA and emphasizing the center's role in preventive diplomacy in the region. Council members commended the role played by UNRCCA in assisting Central Asian countries respond to domestic and transnational threats to peace and security in the region through enhanced regional cooperation and dialogue in accordance with its mandate. They discussed how to make better use of UNRCCA's unique experience in preventive diplomacy and regional cooperation. The success of such efforts can help Central Asian countries become a model for a regional zone for peace, security, cooperation, and development. The Security Council members further recognize the contribution of UNRCCA in forging regional cooperation through the development and implementation of the Joint Plan of Action on implementing the United Nations Global Counterterrorism Strategy in Central Asia the first of its kind. They also appreciated the efforts of the regional center in seeking solutions to water-related regional uh, arrangements and transboundary water resources management. The Security Council commended the role of UNRCCA in cooperation with the United Nations Assistance Mission in Afghanistan in facilitating the engagement of the Central Asian states to contribute to international efforts in reconstruction and stabilization of Afghanistan. They encouraged UNRCCA to continue the close cooperation with the governments of the regions to strengthen the region's capacity to overcome challenges to peace, stability, and sustainable development through preventive diplomacy and dialogue. Um, and there was a AOB uh, on uh, the a visit of Under Secretary Mark Lokok to Syria, and uh, I just uh, would like to give uh, press elements in my national capacity. 
The members of the Security Council were briefed on 22nd January by UN Under Secretary General Jeffrey Feldman and UN Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs Mark Lokok on the situation in Syria. Mr. Lokok particularly reported on his recent visit to Syria uh, from 9 to 12th of January. Kazakhstan welcomed this important visit to Syria by USG Lokok and the ongoing dialogue between him and the government uh, of Syria in this regard. Kazakhstan expresses concern for the impact on civilians caused by the escalating violence in different parts of Syria and reiterates that all obligations under international humanitarian law must be respected by all the parties. Kazakhstan underscores the particular concern in this regard for the rapid increase of displaced persons and calls for an immediate de-escalation of violence, including ground strikes by all parties. We also stress the need for urgent sustained humanitarian access, medical evacuations for emergency cases, and unhindered freedom of movement for a UN needs assessment mission. Now, a couple of questions. Yes. Could you tell us a little bit about what Mr. Feltman told the council about the recent Turkish uh, military operations in Syria? And could you also give us an idea of what sort of views were expressed among council members on uh, these military operations by Turkey? Uh, you know, I intentionally read the press elements in my national capacity because uh, I cannot at this point of time talk about uh, what uh, Feldman said in these close consultations. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask those delegations which raised that issue, because at this point of time, I'm not uh, in the uh, capacity to comment on it. So, how, how many sorry, how many delegations did raise this issue? You could at least tell us that. Uh, no, I cannot comment on that. Um, about the situation in Afrin and the Turkish operation, um, uh, the UN just announced that. Um, um, 126,000 people already been displaced. Nearly one million civilians are in in in, in harm and uh, in danger. That's n and uh, this is a serious situation. And uh, I wanted to ask you, what is the message of the Security Council about this particular situation? Are you going to ask Turkey to stop its military operation or not? Um. As, as I've already mentioned, I'm not going to comment on this since uh, there is no any agreed language on whatever we've discussed. Uh, I think that the situation in Syria, you know, is absolutely important for the Security Council and we all the time discuss uh, uh, the situation there and everybody actually in the Security Council for long time political settlement of the situation in uh, Syria. And this is our uh, firm position and all the delegations are trying to work on that premises. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, there is uh, at least uh, for now there is no any change uh, in plans and everybody is looking forward to two meetings. One is in Vienna and another one in Sochi. Uh, so we will uh, hope to see more progress uh, on uh, humanitarian issues during that meetings. Thank you very much.